Dylan, when exactly did you find out that you were going to that work? Uh, this this morning, uh, I think it was around 10 o'clock or something like that when we entered meetings this morning. So found out, got the opportunity, and uh, yeah, could have been happier. So. Mike said you were pretty excited at this point. To not have to think about it, what were you thinking when you stepped on the field? Um, yeah, I just uh, trained my mind mentally. We had a lot of time uh, off to rest up uh, today before the game, and just uh, once I heard the news, I was just preparing myself mentally just uh, to go out there and play the brand of ball they drafted me to play. So, uh, play Titans football and stuff like that, and just prepare myself mentally, and yeah, I think it showed today. Well, you're able to, you know, carry through everything in training camp, and then come out here your first start. Oh, you know, how critical was it for you to be able to play the way you did you know, after everything you went through your, your training camp and everything? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it was just critical for me to be able to step in and uh, be a guy that they needed during these times when a lot of people are out. And, uh, I'm glad I could fulfill that spot. And, Moving forward, I'm just uh, happy to continue to fill, fulfill a, a spot on this team and continue to do exactly what they need me to do. And uh, love to see where my career goes in development as a player. You guys your first start against the 49ers. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know the connection, Joe Staley. Yes. Did you get to talk to him at all before the game? Uh, not before the game, I'm sure. I've got a few texts from him after the game. I know he does a lot of uh, broadcasting for them and whatnot. So uh, I'm sure I'll talk to him. But yeah, going against 49ers is a great defense. It was my first start. Uh, Thursday night football couldn't have been more grateful. Before this week, the last time you, you practiced that left back. Uh, we, the coaches were really good at mixing me in, giving me practice at, at all positions, wherever they need me. So uh, I've, I've taken reps everywhere every single week. So uh, it wasn't so much, uh, I didn't have any left tackle reps or anything like that. Uh, they always kept me prepared. What were the nerves like going? When you, I guess when you found out you'd start and going out there also, what was the nerve level like? Yeah, I mean, obviously anybody, uh, like I said before, I had a lot of mental preparation before this game, so I was pretty calm. But I mean, anybody who goes out there, just imagine Thursday night game, prime time, it's your first start, you're, you're starting at left tackle so uh, there's gonna be nerves there but overall it was just exciting How much you is find Joey out Bosa part of those nerves? Uh, yeah, it was about 10 o'clock this morning or something when we were at team meetings how much was just knowing that you were gonna be blocking Joey Bosa part of you know, the nerves and what was that like you know, uh, yeah like I said before the nerves I mean he's a great pass rusher uh, he's great on both sides we knew he was gonna flip and flop uh, we knew we were gonna get help um, so I had confidence in myself, confidence in my team. But yeah, like you said, it's Joe. I mean, it's Nick Bosa. I mean, he, he's a great one of the league's best pass rushers. So uh, uh, just being able to go up against him, uh, was, I was grateful for it, and it was, it was cool. How did you feel like you did? Uh, I feel like I did uh, decent. There's obviously stuff to continue to improve on. Um, didn't feel like I did terrible. Obviously, the most important part is the team got out with a win, and I was able to fill that role. So this team talks all the if you didn't ask this already, but just having AJ back, how does just change everything about the complexion of this offense. Yeah, like uh, like I've been saying, I mean, everybody's just trying to fill their role and do their stuff. And uh, obviously, AJ is one of those uh, star players around the league and stuff. So having him back is always going to impact us in a great way. And I feel like it showed. I mean, he had that big catch. Uh, uh, he draws attention, stuff like that. So uh, uh, I think it's huge having him back. Dylan, how was it looking to see him kind of going in your mind in a night like this? It was kind of yeah, I think you worded it great. Uh, I think uh, my work is definitely paying off, and uh, I think the coaches are helping me out a lot. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to continue to develop with this team and continue to play this role and be able to fill in tonight. What do you think your teammates maybe leaving up to the game? What they told you after? Nothing but just hey, we we trust you. We got confidence in you. This is they're going to give me tips and reminders here and there. I mean, I was well taken care of by the teammates is a great team uh, very thankful for them and uh, yeah definitely felt well prepared just with the way the team uh, brought me in and just uh, bestowed confidence of, uh, upon me. How much do you feel like you've improved since you first got here? Uh, improved a lot uh, obviously coming from the FCS level it's a little bit slower of a game not as passive players but uh, just going to the senior bowl training with Joe Staley offseason going to fall camp here um, and these coaches and this team and just my teammates uh, I feel like uh, I've developed a lot and yeah the game's a little bit faster but I feel like I'm, I'm growing a lot through it and I'm definitely confident. Do you feel like you've disappointed them by not being able to contribute before now in a bigger way? Um, obviously, just uh, as as far as goals for myself, yeah, I feel disappointed. You don't you don't play as much as you want. I mean, we're uh, we're all competitors on this team, and we're all going to want to play more. So, uh, obviously, there's going to be that disappointment there. But you got to understand that. You got to be teachable by it. And uh, the coaches helped me through that. Teammates helped me through that. And yeah, like I said, just continue to be grateful for the ability to play tonight. What kind of advice did, uh, did Taylor have for you, if anything? Uh, yeah, he texted me um, and just uh, continued to say, hey, this is how I 
would do things is how I do things and stuff. Just give me tips and reminders here and there. Like I said, with all my all the teammates, kind of did that. But yeah, Taylor's been a huge role role model for me, even when I was in college. So just uh, hearing all those words from him is it was, it was very reassuring. Dylan, what do you think is your ideal position? Long term. Uh, long term, I'm always going to want to be a tackle, but I'm a huge team guy, and I think the most important thing tonight is we got out with a team win, and uh, so wherever they're going to need me, that's where I'm going to go. But obviously, they drafted a tackle, and uh, I was a tackle in college. I love to play tackle, so uh, that's where I'm always going to lean towards. But like I said, big team guy, so uh, going to play wherever they need me. This team talks a lot about that's not fun. panicking when someone around you gets injured or goes down. When you're the guy who's coming in, What's the mentality? What's it take to step in and, and be seen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just big. Uh, like I said, my teammates helped me out a lot. They bestowed a confidence upon me, and then now it's my turn to show out and uh, show up, basically, and uh, say, hey, you guys can trust me. You can trust me to do this job. And uh, in college, it was our, all our mentality was. It was next man up. I mean, it's always the next man up. We're, we're, we're competing for the team. So uh, just doing all those things, and uh, it, it just leads to success, and I think that's the team mentality here. Thank you.